What is going down, techies and techettes? NVIDIA's Game Ready Driver came out roughly about 10 days ago, and yes, this is a Game Ready Driver and a Studio Driver. So for you editors, this is a brand new playing field. My name is Mac, here at the MacGyver 7 channel. For everyone brand new, hit that subscription button in company with the notification bell, and let's go ahead and scroll into what's changed. We'll be taking a look at some benchmarks and patch notes to see what has changed in the 5.11.65. Coming directly over here, you can see that the game Ready Driver and Studio Driver was released roughly 10 days ago, and a plethora of stuff has come into it. Dying Light being one of the bigger portions, God of War, and other tons of games that have been buffed and ready to utilize inside of this, uh, which utilize the DLSS. For maximum performance and being ready to utilize that, the Studio application in February inside of that driver provides an optimal support for the latest new creative applications. So you can have redshift in the render on top of that for the accelerated ray tracing. So that's pretty cool. Definitely leave a comment down below on what cool projects you guys and gals are working on, if any. On top of that, for as far as the gaming technology includes the 38, yes, that lovely 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti notebooks. On top of that, for as far as you can take a look at where the New features and other changes. You can go into security settings on top of that, the bulletin to the display, which is available. The software is listed on top of the products, making it a little bit more secure. Open Vulkan for the portion for external memory. You can actually have a, an extension provided. A generic framework enables the OpenCL on top of that for the import for the external memory. So you definitely got a little bit of a road ahead of you but it is possible on top of that for the nvidia opencl for as far as the upgrade you can see that it comes into the just in time for the offer the opt-in version for utilization on the 7 and the nvv 7 on top of that for as far as what we can get into for providing a 16 bits floating and a 128 bit for that on top of that for is another portion with dying light they added dead by daylight and that also gave us an application profile for the egs on top of that for as far as driver fixes with a lot of stuff that they have open which you can take a look down below is the main things is far cry on windows 11 far cry 6 inside of there for the geometric corruption and occurs inside of the benchmarks and gameplay multiple portions of the apps reported shuttering in the lights or poor hitching due to the application creation the notebook on top of that situation comes into the optimization and configuration on the d gpu on top of that for as far as the notebook will display a black screen on top of that for as far as your 3440 times the 2k looking monitors and that setting you may have some portions where the black screen is selected on the dldsr solution and on top of that directx 12 and the geforce experience inside of the freestyle inside of the filters may cause some games to flicker and all these are on the fixed list so they should be fixed and Verizon, yes, can you hear me now? Because it's Horizon for the Forza, always on this freaking list, I swear. And at least it's not like the portions where we get black tiling across when you're driving fast. This one is the game is freezing while applying um, the cars when ray tracing is enabled. So if you have a ray tracing issue, they should be fixed. If not, work around definitely would be to turn it off. On top of that, for as far as the improvements, you can take a look right over here. There is tons of them that definitely come down to the gameplay. But let's go ahead and take a look at the benchmarks. We've cleared our patch notes. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and analyze what we got here. We've got the brand new driver on the right. Hardware accelerator on on the top, off on the bottom. Same formula with the older driver on the left. With that being said, you can definitely see that the newer driver pushes forward in tandem together with good balanced scores. It retains the 4828 within about a six point variable in order to keep that median with the graphics accelerator on or off in 4K and DirectX 12. As you can take a look over on our old driver, well, you can definitely see that there are some issues. When the hardware accelerator is off, they disappear, then it's on, it definitely may hit some issues. So if you are experiencing some driver issues, I would definitely say try out the new one. 
if you already have any issues with that and you're trying out the new ones, DDU it. I'll have a video at the end you can take a look at and definitely get your gaming back in alignment. With that being said, it seems like the Hardware Accelerator on the newer driver wins in this round. If you look at the graphics scores point for point, it is the highest ranking one besides the older driver with the Hardware Accelerator off, where it literally ties. If you look at the graphics score, the only thing that's a little bit different that's making it is that the CPU score has made it a little stronger. Now, with us breaking down the score even further as we go down the pipeline of the Time Spy, and you can see that 1080p definitely gives a little bit more of a broader look at where the driver can go. With the pixels not being so intense, hardware accelerator on, newer driver takes the cake almost clearing 1300 for as far as the score it beats some of them literally by almost a hundred points so newer driver so far is pushing good with the windows tandem system the only issue that the windows has right now is with amd and luckily this is not the driver that you're installing yeah they have some weird ass thing where they continuously want to install the newer driver and it causes a huge issue windows is just no offense they're kind of artards but taking a look at Fire Strike in their 4K for Ultra, you can definitely see that the newer driver, again, pushes forward on all cylinders, doing well with the graphics score and making sure that if you toggle off the hardware accelerator on or off, that it is a little bit fair. I like to think that these scores right here are pretty decent compared to losing almost about 200 below over here on the older driver. Now all these drivers are pretty decent, old and new, but when you look at the old driver with the hardware accelerator off with the current Windows system, oh my, that's bad. You lose 4% overall with your score. On top of that, if you look at where your graphics are, you literally lose a thousand points. So in this point in time, what I would suggest if you're having an issue with Fire Strike games, anything that's DirectX 11 and you're pushing your hardware to be the best of the best, you might want to install the new driver and do a DDU. It might help. Now, luckily for us, when we go back down to the basic 1080p, it redefines itself again with showing how bad the driver can be. So again, Fire Strike definitely does not seem to be on Nvidia's winning side for this one. But what you're wanting to do at this point in time is install the new driver and turn the hardware accelerator on after doing a DDU and cleaning out your system of any bugs that might have been installed into it thanks to older drivers. It happens. But that's why I'm here to help you and fix your gaming experience. Now on top of that, we're going to be looking at ray tracing. As we break down the last segment of our benchmarks, you can see that right now it literally trends with the hardware accelerator off for the old driver, again, being the better performance. But when you go to the newer driver with the hardware accelerator on, it's looking pretty good. I mean, that's a solid 100 punts above it. it. Seems to be running smooth. I have not had many issues at all, in fact, with the newer driver. But if you are experiencing something, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to show. That wraps up our tech news. If you're brand new to the channel, join. It's absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe NVIDIA will send me a cool AMD cookie. That'd be awesome. I'd eat it online. You know, show everyone because AMD baked a cookie. It'd be sweet. But you'll just have to subscribe to find out. But everyone, I will see you guys and gals in the near future and stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you there.